It's time for the Turner Construction Lightning Round, brought to you appropriately enough by Turner Construction. That is an outstanding international firm that has wrapped its arms around the local Omaha market and uh, become one of Omaha's proud local companies. So it's really kind of the best of the both worlds with Turner. You've got this deep bench of talent and of resources that Turner can draw upon for your project, but they have a lot of people who sit in offices and work on construction sites in Nebraska. And uh, also, uh, for those of you who are in the trades, by the way, um, always keep Turner in the back of your mind as a good place to work. I have been so impressed in the last few years that we've been working with them on Gromaha about the way they treat their people. And so it's a nice place to work. And then for those of you who hire construction companies, the benefit is you've got that healthy culture and and um, everyone wins uh, when you use Turner Construction uh, for your project. Turner Construction, sponsor of the lightning round. Well, some of the things we have on the docket for you today, first of all, um, a future Culver's uh, quick serve burger place, getting really close to opening uh, right adjacent to the world's biggest high V uh, in Gretna. <laughs> it is the world's biggest high V, at least until they build a bigger one. <laughs> well, the, can, if you look at how long it took him to build this one in terms of the last one that was built, I think Culver's is safe. It might be, yeah. a, it might be a little while. It might be a little yeah. while. Cops Pizza, a real popular place here in Omaha. One of my favorites. Yeah, they're, this is darn good. They're going to actually open a fourth location in Overland Park, Kansas, Kansas City metro area. Uh, the plan is to open in late July. So this is kind of interesting. The owner is from Kansas City, and as I understand it, moved to Omaha to open up his pizza place. Mm -hmm. uh, opens it in Omaha. Now they're up to three. They've got 72nd Street, West Omaha Papillion. They're doing great. So now he's opening a fourth one back in his hometown um, of, uh, of Kansas City. So I hear, kind I hear of a, the brunch thing is going good, too. I have not yet tried it, but yeah. I want to try it. Yeah. You, you, you say the term Sunday brunch to me, and my ears pop up. Um, mm -hmm. I love Sunday brunch. We know how we both feel about breakfast. You want to know a fun Sunday brunch place? Have you ever had Indian buffet for Sunday brunch? Never. I, I love Indian food. That's a fun Sunday brunch. After, mm. So there was a couple times uh, after uh, church on Sunday, the kids and Stephanie and I, have hit an Indian place. One time was Astoria on 108th, and we went to another one. I can't remember, but uh, good. That's kind of fun. If it has curry, I'm there. Oh, I, it, the spicier, the better yep. for me. Moots Pizza, M-O-O-T-Z, mm -hmm. Moots Pizza, very close to opening at Countryside Village. Um, and this is going to be on the back side or the north side of Countryside Village, just south of Christ the King Church. I'm pretty sure this was a food truck that has mm -hmm. gone bricks and mortar. It was. Okay, and they posted on their Facebook page, what was it, maybe yesterday, that they're one city permit away uh, from opening. So a lot of people are really getting excited about trying this. Brian, um, I've been to Smash Park in Des Moines, Iowa before. Fun place. Mm -hmm. We're getting one in La Vista. We've got an update about the uh, plans to open the La Vista Smash Park. Yeah, so they were shooting for fourth quarter this year, but uh, just due to some construction delays and things like that, they just recently announced, and I think it was widely reported on all the major news, local news, that uh, they're going to slide, I believe, to the end of the first quarter, beginning a second quarter next year, which isn't a, it isn't, uh, a huge delay. Actually, I think it'll line up nice because – uh, they're doing tournaments and games now at the mm. La Vista Sports Complex. So I think it'll be a great time right after the winter to open up because there's going to be a lot of human beings that are staying in those hotels down there. Well, yeah, you think about the number of soccer teams that, that La Vista Nebraska Multisports Complex attracts. Um, they're doing lacrosse in there too now. Oh, they're actually, yeah, sense. so they're actually playing, like some of the lacrosse leagues are actually playing down there now. That sport becoming very popular in the Midwest. So did you know it's the number one growing sport in our country i'm not a bit even more than pickleball well okay well, maybe not pickleball <laughs> pickleball, but pickleball is, is when, not so girl so i actually just learned this because of a client I, I have girls lacrosse women's lacrosse is the fastest growing sport for women i i'm not surprised to hear that because i know whenever I, you drive by one of the high schools you always see the lacrosse kids out there practicing um we had a the ribbon cutting for on the border mexican grill and cantina in papillion scheduled for july 18th um, if you're looking for a little small town place that uh, people are saying good things about, you might want to check out BW's Bistro. It's in Cedar Creek, Nebraska, and uh, I'm a I'm a native Omaha, and I got to confess, I had to look I had up to look, Cedar I had to Creek. It. I did, <laughs> but it's really not that far away. It's right on the Platte River, on the Cass County side of the Platte River. 
southeast of Springfield, northeast of Louisville. And then uh, Crave Gym, K-R-A-V, Crave Gym, plans to open its first Nebraska location this fall in a 3,600-square-foot space near 203rd and Pacific Street. Crave Gym has three existing locations in central Iowa, the Des Moines, Iowa metro area. Um, so, it's, so it's a smaller gym, but, you know, these smaller specialty gyms have become very popular because they, you know, they focus on one particular thing. Yeah, I mean, know. it was like Orange Theory. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it kind of falls in line with that. They have their own little niche thing. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.